Welcome back to our channel, YouTube. My name is Kristen Forgione. I'm the founder, creative director, and principal designer here at The Lifestyle Co. And I don't normally start these house tours like tucked away in the primary bedroom, but this space is my absolute fave of the whole entire project. So before we walk and talk all the things, and if this is your first house tour, we have come to learn a lot about you guys here on YouTube over the last three years, almost four years, almost four years. You like best when we just talk and tell you every single source that I can possibly remember from all of these big builds. I would assume so that you can work them into your own projects at home. So that's my plan for today. I would normally have RJ Bialkowski. She is the lead designer on this project with me, but she is quite literally right now at the hospital having her baby girl. So um, she can't be here today. She's about to be a new mommy. And obviously RJ, you know how much we love you. And for everyone on the other side at YouTube, if you guys want to wish her all of the amazing baby juju for a new baby coming into the world, we would absolutely love that. So as I mentioned, RJ is the lead designer on this project. I also want to make sure you know that this video is sponsored by A Floral. We love A Floral. I am a huge, huge, huge snob when it comes to faux stems. And I'm going to tell you and show you some of my favorite pieces from A Floral as we get a little bit further along in the video. This home is just over 6,700 square feet. It is located in Paradise Valley. Our build partner is ENS Builders, whom we love and adore and you guys have come to love on YouTube as well. So we're going to get into it. I hope you love this house as much as we do. The project is called our Joshua Tree Custom Build and you are going to see it all soon. Okay, so like I mentioned, we're in the primary bedroom and it is such an important spot of any home, right? This space that you see here that has truly stolen my heart and every single person who has walked in here is obsessed with this. Um, this is what we're calling the primary sitting nook and it didn't always start out like this. When we got this space uh, plan, right? So the, the blueprints from the architect, it was just kind of a space that didn't have a whole lot of opportunity in my opinion. I loved the windows, but like, how do I put a sofa in here, right? I didn't just wanna stick two chairs in this space. So we came up with this concept to build in this day bed area that's an, in an L shape. We wrapped it with white oak, did this beautiful, gushy um, upholstery cushion, and then put as many pillows as we possibly could in every single area. All of these pillows, actually not all, most of these pillows are from our brand new um, exclusive pillow volume, volume two from the Lifestyle Co. I'll also mention, I am gonna try to drop as many sources as I possibly can. If I don't say them, they may also be located or will also be located in the description of the video. In the description, we'll either link our blog, we'll directly link to sources, we'll give you all of the resources so that you can go shop for yourself. Ton of the accessories are from our store, The Lifestyle Co, www.thelifestyleco.com. That's where you should go look right now for these pillows if you love them. So um, you can use that throughout the whole video. I'll try to drop, like I said, as many, as many sources as I can. But um, I just love how it turned out. I think it's so rich and beautiful. The wall color in this room, which you're gonna notice um, throughout is called Taupe Tone. It's from Sherwin-Williams. It's tried and true, a little bit deeper than accessible beige. You guys always ask about that. Um, I'm gonna make you watch a little bit more of the video before I tell you the flooring, but let's continue. So um, coming into the primary bedroom, oh, I don't even know where to look. I don't know if it's the candles. I don't know if it's the color. I don't know if it's the season. I don't know, but I just love this room. I feel like it's a big space and we were able to really capture how, how grand it feels. It has that like quiet luxury feel that, that we all love. Um, and I truly feel like the wall color mixed with the rough um, sewn beams the Roman clay on the ceiling, like, ooh, I love it so much. The Roman clay on the ceiling, this humongous chandelier, the style is just coming through as like that organic desert living, rustic, um, like really earthy, textural. You can tell by the way I'm like, right? I just love it. I want to sleep here, but it's not my bed. <laughs> so our clients will be sleeping here for the very first time tonight, tonight. So I think they're gonna be really excited. But we custom made this headboard. Um, when RJ and I started thinking about how we wanted this room to feel, 
We really wanted the bed moment to, to be the moment, right? Especially opposite that beautiful sitting nook that we just showed you. So we needed something to be really commanding so that that didn't end up being the focal. So we played with an extended headboard and then curved these wings of the headboard, which is absolutely incredible. There is no link for it. It is custom made. It is something that we pride ourselves on making sure that we're making custom beautiful furniture pieces for our clients. So this bed is the only one and it will stay right here for, for our clients. So um, I'm obsessed with the Mario Bellinis. These are amazing. Um, they're a showpiece. They're a collector's item for sure. They're in this beautiful like taupey boucle that I love. Um, the rug is from us also, I love it. It's kind of a play on that kind of uh, boho X pattern that you saw and you, you will continue to see, but it's a little bit more rustic, a little bit more earthy. I feel like it really grounds the space, which I love so much. So from here, let's go into the primary bath. I mean, I don't actually know how anyone could get ready in a space that's so small and such horrible natural light in this bathroom. You guys, are you serious? Oh, I love my house, really I do. But when I'm in these projects, sometimes I just like die inside and I can't imagine living here, which is probably the way you feel. So um, let me tell you all about it. It's huge. And when a space is huge, it is our job, I think as importantly as it is when it's small, to really think through every single finish so that we can try to get the most out of the space. So in this case, I think it's very interesting that um, the sinks are both on one run, so it's a galley style, so his and hers next to each other. Plenty of storage in all of these beautiful cabinets. Um, you know how we do our cabinetry and bathrooms, if you've watched our channel before. This is called a horseshoe, so it's a U-shaped drawer that goes directly around the P-trap so that you don't lose all of this. So when you do drawers, instead of making this, this is false, instead of making this also false, you're really tapping into all of that usable space people love, right? So I, like I said, especially important when you do drawers. If we didn't do that, then you would only have this lower drawer here right under the sink, or you'll have cabinets. And then when you're trying to get your stuff, you're like down, you know, not, not, not fun. Especially as you get older. It's not that fun to like get down there. So anyway, so lots of storage. Um, I know you're already looking for sources. The paint color in here is Benjamin Moore Chantilly Lace. The countertops are Pietra Gray from Bedrosians. What we did here, selectively is kept the two centimeter height, right? So the actual thickness of the quartz is two centimeters. We kept it raw and square, that's it. Nothing super special there because we wanted to cap the top of the backsplash with this little shelf moment. So wall mounted plumbing, the plumbing in here is all from Phil Rich. It is French brass, it's absolutely stunning. The mirrors are custom, the lighting, can't remember at the moment, but we'll make sure we link it for you. Um, the flooring, which I know you're gonna love, it is called Rock Crystal, and it is also by Bedrosians. It's beautiful. You are always looking and asking us for a large format field tile that is not natural stone. We tend to spec a lot of natural stone because it's the best type of product to work with, especially as a designer. This is porcelain. So if you're looking for something budget conscious, if you're looking for something that performs differently than natural stone, but looks a lot like natural stone, I think this one is a really good alternative. So like I said, it's called Rock Crystal. We will link it. Um, we did this little cap moment here for like your skincare beautifully displayed. I love that towel moment. It just adds something here, again, because the space is so big. Um, and if you scoot back, you're gonna be able to see ah, the ceiling moment, which I love. So the trays in the ceiling, we haven't been able to, um, like specialty paint those freaking air vents yet, but we will, um, they really kill me. But um, you have to have air vents obviously, so it is what it is. But we laid flooring horizontally across each coffer and then placed these beautiful oversized lanterns, three of them, which really helped take up this space. You can feel even across this video how big this room is. So by using those lanterns, by using the ceiling detail, by putting wood on the ceiling and bringing it down, it's really helping kind of tame some of the size. Beautiful vanity moment, of course, I'm obsessed with this stool, huge armoire. Like, can you imagine having this much storage? Like I, I'm obsessed. Um, this doesn't have shelves in it yet, but it will. And look at that, that's like 10 feet of storage. I want it, I want it. His and hers um, water closets also. Beautiful bathtub moment. Um, if you're not from Arizona or you're not familiar, you're, you may not know what Camelback is, Camelback Mountain. We are very proud of Camelback Mountain here in Arizona. And this lot is perfectly situated so you get a full horizontal view of the back of Camelback Mountain. 
So it is like incredibly prime real estate and such, such, such a beautiful build. Right outside the bathroom, like right outside the bathtub, stunning, I'm obsessed. Um, okay, come in the shower with me. I know you guys love to see the shower moment, just like I do. Um, this is from Riyadh Tile, it is the Liege, it's in Snow White, we'll link it of course. This is Calcutta Honed, um, I can't remember where it's from, but we'll link it if we can. I love, I love the mixture of the Zalige with the Calcutta marble. It is going to be so incredibly beautiful as it ages. Um, we did Phil Rich French Brass in here, and I know you always ask us about shower hardware. This big Mama Jamma, like look at how big this is, right? In a, in a room like this, we have to make sure that the finishes are a little bit exaggerated or they're gonna feel really petite. So that's why we went with, with this. Um, it's from DK Hardware. A Little bit tricky to order, but we'll link it for you if we can. Um, but anyway, I just love the primary bath. I think it turned out so beautiful. Rainhead, like there's just nothing you could possibly want that we're not giving you in this beautiful bathroom. Bringing all the vibes here with my shoe covers on in the fitness room. So just off of, and I'm yelling because the, the pool's going with the fountains and like the wind and the whole thing. This is right off of the primary bedroom is the gym. And we designed it with this fitness patio because our clients love to open up the huge door window situation here and really have indoor outdoor workout opportunity. I'm wearing the shoe things because we're having a little bit of an issue with the flooring in here, but it is that true gym floor, which is gonna be amazing once we figure out the issues. Um, the other thing that I think is so incredible about this space, other than of course like working, like doing yoga, like right here, oh my God, it's so good. And for everyone in Arizona watching, or like I said, if you know Camelback, like the view is absolutely insane. It is the most motivating thing ever. In addition to the view, the other thing that's pretty flipping amazing in here is, this is an integrated site-built sauna and steam room. So, you come right in here, it's teak, and you get your sauna on, right? Like. You move this over. Oh my gosh, you get your sauna on. And you don't even have to come back out like this. We can go like this into the steam room. So now I'm in steam. And it is so, it's, you can't smell it through the TV or your phone or whatever you're watching on YouTube, but it's incredible. So the idea was we designed this to have at least two people in here. I really think you could probably fit at least four if you were you know, hanging out doing girls day or spa day right at your house. Oh my God, it's so amazing. The steam unit in here is Thermosol, I wanna say. Again, we'll link it. Those are questions we get all the time. The tile in here is Bedrosian's. It's um, a long linear one by 12. So. It's on the surround and then the same collection is on the floor. You can hose the whole thing off, obviously, um, using the handheld, but I'm just obsessed with this wellness room. We're seeing so, so many, so much more emphasis put on at home wellness. You're seeing cold plunges, of course, infrared saunas, um, traditional saunas, steam rooms, all that stuff. So I think that these clients just hit the nail right on the head. They will be able to continue a healthy lifestyle, working out, wellness, all that stuff right in their own home. Okay, I have just taken you to the heart of the home. This is the great room, so it's where our clients are going to spend so much of their time, right? It's where you've got your TV, your beautiful fireplace moment. I'll talk to you all about that. And then of course the kitchen, dining entry, it's kind of that just big main space that you have come to love from our work and what you see all over the internet these days. Um, I want to mention, because I know how much you guys are always asking about our stems. It's one of our most asked questions here on YouTube and certainly over on Instagram is about where do you get all of your foliage to make your designs come to life, which we truly believe all of those, the beautiful florals, the stems, the olives, the eucalyptus, all that stuff really does set apart our designs. So I am showing you a floral. If you haven't heard of them, they're an incredible, incredible company and they sell realistic looking, nature inspired, sustainable, real to the touch stems. So I would love to know if you knew that this was faux because when our marketing team got here today, they did not know that it was faux. 
and it is. And I will tell you, I am like self-proclaimed such a snob when it comes to greens, flowers. I want them to, to look and feel, really, I want them to be real. And, and for the most part, that's all you see in our photo and video. So A Floral generously sponsored this video. They provided this beautiful product for us, and I love this. So I'll link exactly what stems these are. There are hundreds of probably thousands of options on their website, but we'll link what we got from them. The vase vessel is also from them, which I think is just beautiful. They are so, so real and easy to work with. You see, I just pulled some out. Um, a tip for you if you're gonna use them at home, you can use them just with stem length. You can also use wire cutters to cut them or you can just bend them. So in a lot of these to get this kind of like expanding look here. I just bent the, ed the ends and then just kind of stuck them in. I also love how high quality quality they are in how firm. So like this feels like a real branch. Like it's not flimsy. It can hold its own, which is where you're really gonna get that super life-like shape. So there's a couple places in the house where we have a floral arrangements and vases. So I'll make sure I point those out. There is a special offer in the description. It's a limited time though. So depending on when you're watching this video, the offer may be expired. So you're gonna wanna go to afloral.com and learn about their current offers. So A Floral, thank you so much for sponsoring this video and providing the beautiful foliage for us. I think it has been such a great addition to our already always um, statement making statement making green. So um, back to the finishes here in this space. This wall is one of the first things we designed when we started on this project. Our client knew she wanted arched built-ins and she knew that this would actually be their main living space. So in some of our projects, you'll see that our clients have separate living spaces where they can you know, cozy up, whether it's a den or a home theater or whatever. For this particular project, this client, this is where they will end up living and, and hanging out. So we've got a beautiful sectional. Um, this sofa piece I absolutely love. It was custom made. It's so special, one of a kind. I love that we did it in this um, like beigey tan Sherpa boucle blend. It's got a painted wood base, which I love. These huge bolster um, end caps. It's just a beautiful piece. These pillows are also from our Round Top Collection Volume 2, which you saw in the primary. Um, if you're not familiar with our pillows, they are all handmade right here in the US. We mill our own fabric. The um, inserts are 90-10 down, um, which also always allows for them to stay put. So you'll see that they're not like falling over like you'll see with some crappier pillows. Um, so they are an investment piece for sure, but we also sell only covers. So if you have inserts at home and you want to upgrade to just covers, you can do that. Um, so back to this wall, which I know you'll love. These sconces behind me, don't trip over the beautiful marble fireplace. Wait, while you're there, you should show them that. <laughs> it's so good. It's Arabescado. All of the marble in this house um, that we use in this project is, is Arabescado, which is one of our favorite types of marble. I'm obsessed with how, look at how humongous this thing is. Like it's five feet off the ground for sure. Beautiful box. I'm gonna turn it on for you in a second. The remote's over there. But um, these sconces are from Arteriors, we'll link them. The cabinet color, because I know you always ask about that, is a forever favorite here at the Lifestyle Co. It is Accessible Beige by Sherwin-Williams. We did a little vertical kerf in the cabinet profile with this really thin, slim shaker around and just very simple black knobs. Like I said, we will try to link the hardware, the paint colors, the tile, the flooring. Should I tell you about the flooring? I should tell you about the flooring because I told you you'd have to watch a little while before I tell you. And I know it's always your favorite question to ask. So without further ado, it is Affinity Collection in color contour. Um, it's a beautiful floor. I think it's absolutely perfect. It's got a lot of natural elements to it. It's got a little bit darker knotting, wire brushing, really pretty, really balanced. It looks beautiful in really long runs, which I know you guys are always concerned about. So I love that. Coming over here, let me turn this fireplace on for you. It's so dramatic. I love it. This is by Real Fire. It's a, I wanna say this is a 42 inch box. I wanna say 40 inches, 42 inches across 48, but we'll double check and put it in the description. Still kind of scares me. Ready? Wait for it. Yay! It's winter. It's fall. It's fall. It's fall. Still 100 degrees, but it's fall. So this just like, ooh, it adds the vibe so much. Um, so fireplace in here, gas, natural gas. 
Um, what else can I tell you? The beams, you're probably wondering about the beams. They are incredible. They are, um, um, but I'm 95% sure that they are real structural beams. We added that black strapping on them so that we get some of that rusticity. The stain is custom, so I know you're gonna ask about that. I don't have the formula for you, um, but I just think they, add, they turned out so beautifully. And now that I'm thinking about it, I know they are real. I know they are real. Other project, not real. Um, okay, do you wanna see the kitchen next or do you want to see this insane office situation? Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. I hear you, I hear you. Um, oh, it's so good. I kinda wanna walk you this way though because this is like, and I guess I can show you, am I backlit, am I bad? Okay, um, this is the entry. It's so gorgeous. Um, what can I tell you about here? The flooring. So this flooring is ceramic tile, porcelain. Wow, I'm really off my game today. It's either porcelain or ceramic and it's by Marazzi. And this is a custom lay that we specified. And if you're going to do this at home, one, you need to make sure that it's in a space that it is like everything else is nice and tight around it, okay? So like, don't put this in a renovation that has some stuff close in close proximity that maybe isn't like nice and perfect. So it's a new build, it's a really great place for this. And the reason why I say that is because it's really statement making, right? So it's going to do a lot of talking. In this size, with the tile, you wanna make sure that if you're gonna do this, you do it with the same tile collection for all three colors. So this has this color, which is called Soft Cloud, this color, which I can't remember right now, and then this color, so three colors. And you wanna make sure that they're the exact same tile spec, just in different colors, because although a tile may say it's a 20 by 20, the actual field size might be slightly different. So when you're trying to do a geometric pattern like this, if your tile is even off by 1 16th of an inch, it's gonna throw the whole thing off. So just as a general rule of thumb, if you're doing a checker pattern, if you're doing any three piece lay, anything like this where every single thing has to line up perfectly, make sure you're using the same tile collection, same model, just different colors. So like I said, this is from Marazzi. It's a favorite of ours. We use it all the time. Um, I'll tell you about that in a second. Back to this. So when we got these plans, this was an opening, just like you're gonna see behind you in the dining room. This side was also wall and then there was just a French door. So picture like, you know, I think there's a lot of floor plans where you come off the entry and there's kind of an opening this way and then an opening that way and there's some sort of open, either formal living space or an office space that you can use. So way back when I was like, I really want this to be dramatic. I want it to feel really open. I want it to feel really modern. And so we came up with this concept of all the steel and glass basically enclosing the office space so that you could see completely into it and it could live as kind of a living working office. So that's how we got here. So there's doors on both sides, there's doors here, and then there's doors there. I like this door kind of ajar like this, right off the entry, I feel like it feels so like welcoming. Um, I love this little like moment here. You can pick whether you sit at this side of the desk or this side of the desk, but like I could work here. I could really work here, it's got such vibes. Um, and then also I love the proximity to the, the living space there. So the, the space is just incredible. It turned out so, so beautiful. Um, I'm, I'm truly just like so thrilled with how, how all of this turned out. This lighting fixture is from the Lifestyle Co. It's by Regina Andrew. You can buy it from us. It's called the Talon. I love it. It really has a super wide footprint. That's always exciting and, and takes up a lot. I just think this office is like, like, can you guys tell us what, what, who, do, who do you think lives here? Like, what do they do? If you worked here, what, what, what would you do? Like, I feel like it could definitely pass as an interior designer, creative director, fashion designer, architect, like anything type of office. Entertaining is high priority for our clients. So we knew that this space would be that kind of formal dining space that you would expect. Um, the lighting fixture I love so much. You guys, I hate to break your heart, but it is completely discontinued. I don't know why they would discontinue something so freaking gorgeous, but they have. So that we don't have a link for. Um, this furniture is also custom, so I don't have anything for you there, but um, our clients are gonna enjoy it so much, and I know you're gonna be so happy for them and not jealous at all because you can't have it. Um, we are known for our bar moments, and I think this one is no exception. This is a really, I think, um, interesting, but 
rather simple design that just has done so much talking. So this is just basically a sideboard. You could also do it with a furniture piece, which I love the idea of. So let's say you have a big opening. You can basically choose not to fill the whole furniture, the whole opening with furniture, create a furniture piece, use the top as bar, open shelving. These are custom brass shelves that we have made um, that we of course style as kind of a bar. Think of like that private dining room. Think of, I don't know if you have like a really beautiful steakhouse where you live. I feel like it's just like swanky, right? Maybe like a little Vegasy. Um, and then on either side of the, the let's call it sideboard or built-in in this case, we hung these wine racks. You've been seeing these since our Cortez project, I wanna say. They are so affordable, we'll link them for you. I literally mean like $20 affordable. And we just use them in quantity, so more than one, and, and balance them on either side of this bar moment. So I just love that it's so accessible. You can walk up, you can grab your glass of wine. You're like, oh my God, I'm having friends over, love it. It just turned out so good. And again, super cost effective. So a really a good demonstration of using high-end finishes with low-end finishes and showing you how you can really incorporate that right back into your home. Just off the dining room and the living space that I told you about earlier is this kitchen. I have been waiting for three years to show you this kitchen. It is truly one of my favorites that we have ever designed. It was a brainchild between RJ and I from the very beginning. And what we really wanted in this kitchen was stone. And we wanted this kind of oversized hood moment that, that we could enclose and kind of like mm, give a hug to this beautiful Ilve range. This is a 48 inch dual fuel Ilve. Um, we're huge fans of Ilve here at the Lifestyle Co. And we just love the idea of a heritage, like kind of forever piece range is really what we're, what we're looking for. We also use Wolf a ton. Either of them are, are incredible pieces of machinery. I think it's just a difference in look that you're going for. So in this case, we really wanted that kind of heirloom feel, specifically because we're playing off of the stone. So we came up with this kind of oversized leg hood moment, inserted the hood up in there so it's nice and clean. This is again, Arabiscado. Did this beautiful ledge up top just for a little bit, right? We don't we didn't want plates on there. We don't want anything like overly big because we're trying to make sure that we play with the scale of the hood. The stone spec is called Tuscany Cream. We will make sure that we put it in the description for you. And then it has um, an extreme over mortar and wash. So that's why you can kind of see the stone coming through so beautifully. I love it. I just think they did such an incredible job on it. It's truly like one of my, like my favorite parts of this kitchen. In addition to this, I can tell you like thing number three that we came up with is these crescent shaped doors. These crescent shaped doors, we actually saw at a show house we were in in Atlanta and they changed our lives and knew that we needed to figure out a way to work them into one of our projects. So um, just beyond that is the Butler pantry, which I'll show you too, but there's a crescent shaped door, which is hard to say, in white oak on either side of the kitchen. And when you see the wide, which I'm sure Nick will work in here for you probably right about now. Once you see the wide, you will see how incredibly captivating it is. They are so beautiful. And I just think they, they completely made the entire kitchen. In addition to the marble use, which I'm gonna show you this not sink that I absolutely love too. But before I get there, I need to talk to you about the apparatus lighting fixture. This fixture above the island is from Apparatus Studio. It is custom made, but you can order it for yourself. The thing is so expensive. Do not lose your mind when you see the price because I'm telling you right now, it's a show piece. It is, again, one of those things that we really established early in the design and we knew we wanted to work around it because it is such an incredible piece of, it's, it's a piece of art. It just happens to also turn on. So that's kind of how we think about high-end lighting. Um, when, when we have a client that also values high-end lighting. When we have a client that doesn't necessarily value high-end lighting, then we don't put as much emphasis into it and we figure out what else, what else they really love. So um, that fixture apparatus, you guys are insane and incredible and, and I love using your beautiful products. Here, this was another kind of brainchild. We wanted to match the apron front Arabiscado marble with an undermount cast iron sink with double faucets under the, the serving window out to the beautiful backyard. We wanted to match it with the veg sink or prep sink that's on the island. So both of these are elevated. You can see here, it has this little lip. It has this lip, which I love. So it just allows, like it feels so robust and so beautiful. And then you have two faucets, two dishwashers, one here, 
One, oops, one here. You gotta give it a little bit more of a shove. Two dishwashers, two faucets, two sinks, 48 inch Ilve. Um, over there, 36 inch, oh, you want me to go over there? Okay, 36 inch Sub Zero fridge, freezer, 18 inch wine column from Sub Zero. The whole kitchen is just like what dreams are made of, like honest to goodness. I feel so lucky to continue to get to reinvent our kitchen designs. And this is one of those projects that our client was just 100% on board with anything we suggested. I don't think she changed very many things. If <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of what she may have changed. So when our client creatively just gives us all of that control, incredible things ensue. The butler pantry is like the secret, in my opinion, to kitchen fluency, right? How your kitchen can live so intuitively for you and work for you. So we love hiding a bunch of stuff back here. Back here, this is a steam oven from Wolf. If a steam oven is in your future, I'm so happy for you because it is an incredible piece of equipment. It will change the way you prepare food. So steam oven for sure. Um, another second oven in addition to the oven in the main kitchen. Um, this is a pull out trash and recycle, which we love. A microwave with lower storage than these. You guys love these. These are refrigerator drawers. Um, I called them reefer drawers one time in another video because that's what interior designers refer to refrigerators as sometimes, the word reefer. It's like all over TikTok, it was this whole thing. So I'm going to tell you that, but then also say they are refrigerator drawers. The whole word so that you can't get me. Um, the color of the cabinets and the floating shelf is Benjamin Moore Black Beauty. It's our favorite black. This beautiful tile is from Clay. It is a collaboration with Zio and Sons. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it is just the most beautiful graduation of that very traditional octagon dot because it's octagon dot, if you will. And it's not octagon. It's not octagon, but it looks like octagon <laughs> in Zalige. Um, I love it. I think the colorway is so pretty and simple. This is ivory white home countertops. Again, we'll link it all so you don't have to like ferociously be writing this stuff down. Just look in the description. The um, sconces are from Lucent. Again, one of our custom lighting providers that we love. They are actually local here to Arizona. So Lucent, um, we love you. The farmhouse sink, always a favorite. This beautiful T-bar faucet with sprayer. I mean, this butler pantry is like completely stacked and I love it. And I think there's also a dishwasher back here. Three dishwashers. Okay, so we either have clients and floor plans with teeny tiny little laundry rooms like my house, because I didn't put a lot of effort into my laundry room being this beautiful space. Or we have clients like this that love laundry, love their laundry space, want it to feel like an oasis, which I think is what most of you like. And this laundry room is no exception. It is so freaking beautiful, starting with the star and cross flooring from Ardo Brick. This is custom flooring, but surprisingly pretty affordable when it comes to a beautiful handmade concrete. This is actually terracotta tile, um, but again, it's from Ardo. It's beautiful. Star and Cross is one of those patterns, one of those prints shapes that in my opinion is timeless, is never gonna go out of style. So we got to kind of play with the rest of the finishes around the Star and Cross using that first and then deciding what else we were gonna pair that with. So farmhouse sink, of course, um, these are the same countertops that you saw in the primary bath. So I've told you before, I'll tell you again, if you're building, you're renovating, you're specifying countertops, try to keep your countertops pretty consistent throughout the house. Every single bathroom does not need a separate countertop. You're gonna end up with so much waste, so many waste, so much of, of your slabs that are wasted, that if you can be flexible, work with other finishes around it, you can reuse that same countertop spec in other areas. You also don't have to be so specific as you would have to, let's say in your kitchen with seams. So in here, there are plenty of seams because there's a lot of corners. So that allows more of the slab to be used. So same countertops, they're Pietra Gray um, from Bedrosians, I wanna say. Um, I love the inclusion of the brass in here also. We went with a little bit more, a softer finish and brushed. Um, I'm sure you're wondering what this contraption is. And if you watched our Always on Vacay video or house tour, that house tour, I think it's actually a room reveal. We have a full house tour of that project and then we have a laundry room room reveal. The, we introduced these to you there. They are called dry away. And what the racks do is they come out like this and you can put your clothes on them, right? So it's open air and then they slide back like this. They are the best 
Almost every one of our clients requests them. I think they're incredible. Um, I don't have them and I'm still wondering why I don't have them, <laughs> but I don't have them. Um, so I just love to see them in the field and I think they'll be super useful. The two washers and dryers side by side, definitely something that we're seeing a ton in floor plans and, and space planning right now. Pretty much every family that is wanting to build at this at this um, higher level is requesting the two side-by-side -side washer and dryers just because you can get so much more done. Um, I love the island. This is a showpiece to a piece that will be here hopefully forever. Um, we capped this island with a big oversized pendant from Palachek. This thing is large and in charge and amazing and worth every single penny. Um, the cabinet color in here is again, accessible beige. So you can probably see as we're going through the home, what, what colors, finishes we're using to kind of cascade an umbrella over the whole rest of the house. So we really are intentional in trying to make sure that there, there's some talking going on between paint color, countertop, um, just overall color scheme in the home. Um, right behind you, which you'll see probably on B-roll here in a second, is um, a built-in built -in hamper. hamper. It's been a long week built-in hamper situation over here. And then there's also a dog bowl water station. So they'll be able to feed and water their dogs right here in the laundry room. Nice and easy. This space is one that I think even I could do laundry in. We don't always get to show you the secondary spaces in our projects, but this time we can. And this room is so cool. This is for a teen boy. His name is Junior. And I like, I love this room and I'm a girl mom. And I think because I'm a girl mom, designing boy spaces is something that I like really love. I love designing girl spaces too, but um, the boys rooms are just different and fun and so masculine. Like this room feels so masculine to me. So he's a gamer. So he requested this big fat sofa right at the foot of his bed, point blank to the TV so that he can get his game on. So I'm hoping that he's really excited about that. Um, I love the built-in desk area. We're big proponents of, of kids, teens, adolescents having a space that they can, can work in and read and, and use um, their time wisely when it comes to homework and all that jazz. So I think that's gonna get a lot of use. Um, he's into cars, clearly you can see that. I love the bedding choice in here. I don't know that we'll have links to the bedding, but if we do, we'll of course put it in the description. Um, I also love the board and batten in here. We intentionally left all of the trim around the windows and the doors white so that there would be just a lot of contrast there. Um, I might be super backlit in here, but we're gonna try to, to get you in here. This is the ensuite bathroom. This tile is from Bedrosians. It is a custom lay in the stripe but I wanna say it's iron and white, I think. I'm 95% sure it's iron and white. And then this color is again, accessible beige. So you can see how different the cabinet color changes when it's, when it's around a deeper finish complement, right? So this is the same color that you saw in the, the great room. We've used it several places, but here to me, it looks a lot grayer than it does maybe in other areas. That's the sign of a very versatile and dynamic paint color. So we love that. Um, the rest of this bathroom, I think, is, is something that you would come to expect. It's nice and finished. It feels nice and clean and easy. Our idea for an adolescent space, or really any space, is effortless, right? So we don't want it to have a lot of fuss and maintenance. There's no marble in here. Um, it should be nice and easy for him to settle in and enjoy his new bedroom and bathroom. I think some of the hardest rooms to design, especially as we're talking kids and adolescents, is kind of that age between eh, 12 and 17 because they change so much, right? That your kids are into something completely new every few months. And so when trying to design this space for this beautiful daughter, her name is Maya, she is an equestrian. She is so bright and bubbly and beautiful and wonderful in all things. Um, we wanted to make sure that her room reflected her. She also likes things pretty neutral with a little pop of color. So I just think this room turned out to be such a beautiful reflection of a young blossoming blossoming female. So um, the this little corner is kind of where we started. I love this egg chair as we call it. It's just fun. Like I, I want this. It's just, you know, we, we love it. We love an element that you can catch right from the, the doorway when you walk in something hanging. You see that in a lot of our projects. Kids love it. Um, she's old enough 
I would assume to like keep it in place and it's hopefully not gonna hit that built-in desk. <laughs> I hope. We did talk to mom about that and she was good with it. Um, collages, like the whole Visco girl thing is still super in, so I think that turned out so cute. Um, as we pan around the room, you'll see the canopy on the bed, which is again, just playful and sweet and kind of reminds you of, I don't know, that like princess and the pea kind of, kind of thought in my mind. But I just think the room in general is something that can be grown into and she's got a makeup station, a homework station, tons of storage. Storage. She can watch Netflix and chill and an adjacent bathroom. So let me take you into the bathroom space. Um, this space turned out absolutely beautiful. She, again, she wanted to keep it nice and neutral in here. So we went with Makoto on the floor from Bedrosians. This is their, um, uh, is it a hex? Yeah, this is their hex. So what we did is we took two different colors of the hex and we just cut them in half and then laid them next to each other. So. It's not a custom tile or anything. You can do it very easily. Again, making sure that you're using the exact same spec. So both of these colors, the beige, and I think this is the off-white, maybe the white, um, are all from that Makoto line. And then into the shower, it's gonna get kind of tricky to get you in here, um, but into the shower, this is actually all, all marble. I just mentioned how no marble in kids' spaces. She really wanted this beautiful marble moment and she can, she can handle it. So in speaking with our clients, they felt really good about it. So this is Calcutta. This whole surround, it's just warm and feels feminine and like, I just love it. And then we did the Makoto two inch penny tile in beige also on the shower floor. So I just think it turned out so beautiful. She's gonna absolutely love it. The vanity, lots and lots of storage. The, it's on motion. Oh, you got it, okay. <laughs> the light just went on in the closet. She has this like crazy, amazing, beautiful closet. Should we show them? We should show them. She hasn't moved in yet, but um, I will it turn on now? What did you do? Is this like, gorgeous or what? Like it's a full walk-in. Look at this, like so many drawers. I mean, this has to be like, I'd say at least eight by six, such a awesome space. Like if I'm a teen girl, I, I can't even let my girls see this because while they have great closets, it's nothing like this. Okay, you guys, I actually think this might be my favorite space, or let's say this. We started in the primary sitting room, which is definitely a favorite. And then we're ending here in the pool house. So this is a completely separate guest house. It's so incredibly beautiful. I love how bright and airy it is. This is a space that the family is going to both, both live indoor and outdoor. So we've got two beautiful French doors. I love that this space isn't completely TV centric. So the TV here is kind of off to the side. Beautiful little sitting area. You actually crashed our photo shoot today while we were shooting interior photography. So we've got a little scene there with cookies and, and um, these little like drinks I just love. I think they're so cute. I don't know. I just thought it was like such a cute scene. I could actually picture living here. See, like I just took my hat off, kicked off my shoes. Um, and I'm enjoying the pool. We've got shuffleboard here. There's a full washer dryer behind me in that closet. And then there's a full kitchen here. We've got a little drink rail. There's a, re a bathroom in here too. I almost said a restroom, like public. No, it's a bathroom. There's a bathroom in there, full bath. Um, this beautiful arrangement is from a floral, just like the faux stems were in the great room. I'm so impressed by their products. Again, if you're looking for the offer, it will be for a limited time and linked in the description. And we'll, we'll link exactly which stems they, these are in addition to the other stems that we've used in the house. So again, A Floral, thank you so much for sponsoring this video and helping us show off your beautiful products. Um, this kitchen, it's a full kitchen. I mean, you could literally live here, but I feel like any sort of entertaining here is just gonna be so easy. I love this color cabinet. I can't think of what it is right now, but we'll put it in the description. We've got a full range, a farmhouse sink, a beautiful um, hood moment. The backsplash is also from Marazzi. It's a four by four tile. We just kept it nice and easy in here. There's not a ton of backsplash, so we paired that with this um, countertop splash. This particular quartz is a white veined quartz with kind of like a, it's kind of got a creamy cloudier background. It's called Palmieri. It is by Arizona Tile. You see it a lot in our work when we're not using um, Badara Serena Gold is another fan favorite. Um, what else can I tell you? I don't know, I just wanna hang out in here. I'm gonna take you outside so you can see the exterior in a second, but I also wanna show you, are you coming, are we going on this thing? Okay. I also wanna show you the bathroom in here. So I know you'll love this bathroom. Um, this flooring is, again, just one of those shapes that's super timeless. It is a random, 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 highly specific, very designer place we got it from called Wayfair. <laughs> Even the designers use some of the usual suspects every once in a while. So I truly was scrolling 
and it came up as a sponsored ad and I was like, oh my God, I love that shape. Like it's so, so original. We have used it in one other project and brought it back for this one. So I think it's still available. It's from Wayfair, we'll link it. But this space is, it just gives you that pool house vibe. I love the arched mirror. You can see here that we had a little mishap when the light was being installed. So that sucker has just a huge, painful gash in it. And it's a good reminder of what happens when you're building houses. Everything does not go the way it's supposed to. So that happens. So we're getting that repaired. Um, but of course our clients understand. Um, this plumbing is from Phil Rich, I think also in matte black, paired again with the Palmieri. And then this shower is so good. We used a lot of tile from Bedrosians in this project, which is definitely a fan favorite um, and a favorite of ours at, at the Life Soco. This is Makoto in two different colors. So we basically just alternated the colors. It's a vertical stack with a white grout, and then we use the Makoto two inch penny on the shower floor also. I just feel like it feels so playful, like it really feels vacation-like, and I love that in a space that you're supposed to use for recreation, we can get some of those vacation vibes right here at home. Okay, so just off of that pool house I mentioned is such a beautiful living space. So we're kind of back to the great room that you saw, this beautiful living area, which I love so much. We're gonna get so much use out of this here in Arizona because we have such gorgeous weather so much. So fireplace, it's stunning. I would turn it on, but you guys, it's still like a hundred degrees here. <laughs> so we're gonna keep it nice and short out here. All of this outdoor furniture is from the Lifestyle Co. As I mentioned earlier, most of what you can find here is available from us, www.thelifestyleco.com, including the furniture. So I love that there's this, this space here. The pavers are Algean pearl. Um, it's like a limestone kind of composite situation. They're great pavers, really cost effective, I love. And then just off of this, we have um, a dining space. Love to dine outside here. This, this yard is so stacked. It's got just a beautiful pool. We've got a fire pit. We've got outdoor dining. We've got outdoor fireplace, a built-in grill, the fitness patio, a beautiful swing out the primary um, bedroom. I truly feel like taking in all of the view from Camelback Mountain is going to be so easy here at this project. Thank you guys so much for joining us here at our Joshua Tree custom build. This project is definitely one that is going to go down in history here at the Lifestyle Co. It was built in partnership with ENS Builders and the lead designer is RJ Bialkowski. Thank you so much to A Floral for also sponsoring the video. I hope to see you over on Instagram. My personal account is at Kristen Forgione and the brand account is at the Lifestyle Co. While you're here, make sure you like, subscribe, talk to us in the comments, and we'll catch you on the next one.